actually, this is the area I want to put my uh, raised planting bed. Yes, I need to mow inside the fence. And I need to finish the fence, but ultimately, back here in this mess where the pool will someday be again. Boom! That's where it's gonna go. Be prancing along here, and I could be like, hey, there's this fence here with all these little labels that didn't come off yet. But anyway, oh look, there's there's some some vegetables. And we can't get at them because there's this fence. Yeah. Okay. So ultimately, I want to build a planter that, in my case, doesn't look rectangular, but looks kind of like hmm, this. Was that a rhombus? Right? Sort of like that. So it'll be 12 feet, 12 feet. Uh, I think here, approximately, I'm going to do 4 feet, right? So I got to do a little bit of math to figure out how long this is, right? Right triangle, A squared plus. B squared, and just C squared, right? So, <clears throat> that way you can figure out the size of the hypotenuse. Anyway, that'll tell me how long to cut, well, this board in pieces that are less than half. And then these are 12 foot boards, um, so I really just gotta make sure that I trim them so they're actually 12 feet. And then what I'm gonna do is, all right, if you were to dissect it, I'm gonna have this end overlapping that end a little bit right <clears throat> and then you just keep going around the shape right so this end overlaps that one and then uh, how's this work this end overlaps this one and I guess underlaps that one if that's a word is underlaps a word yeah okay so in any case these won't actually be 12 feet they will be uh, these are an inch and a half thick All right so uh, they'll actually be an inch and a half less than 12 feet each. Cut. Right? At a 45 degree angle. So that I can make that. Alright, let's do that shit. Okay. Here's our cut lines for approximately one and a half inches less than 12 feet. You may notice that both of them are fucking corrected. Why? Because the goddamn boards aren't cut straight across the edge, and I measured from the far edge, which is also crooked as shit. So, this is actually perpendicular to the edge. How did I get it perpendicular? Well, you might say, oh, go out and get yourself a T-square. Well, I have a T-square, and I have all sorts of other squares. Great carpenter square, fantastic stuff. But I can't find it, because this is what my garage looks like right now. You see this fucking mess? Look at this. How am I going to find anything in here? Anything at all? Exactly. So, I dug out this stupid float, which I know is actually square. And I use that. Boom. Okay. Now I got to straighten out the other edges too. Cut everything, and I'll have these things approximately 12 feet long. Give or take a half an inch. I don't really care. Look how far off that is. What a bunch of bullshit. Ask yourself, self, because that's probably what you call yourself, why the hell is this guy using non-treated lumber? Well, because I'm going to be growing vegetables in these damn planters. I don't really care if they rot over time. And I don't want to use treated lumber because treated lumber contains arsenic. And I don't want to fucking eat arsenic, okay? So I'm going to use this. And it'll last a few years. Good enough. So this is not shown to scale. These are not nearly far enough apart. But look, I have my cut lines, right? So I can make these things straight. And then what I did, just so I don't fuck up the geometry, is I put little marks on there. Actually on the top and on the bottom too. So when I'm cutting it with the circular saw at a 45 degree angle, I don't fuck up. Got it? Good. gonna set this to 45 degrees, which hmm, that's the whole damn way over. This is an old ass skill saw. 
model 552 with ball bearings because it says so it's six and a half inch heavy duty saw all right so we got that set notice the blade is at the proper angle with my little stupid mark okay so i'm just gonna trim this off don't cut the cord with the blade and use your eye and ear protection if you remember but i forgot see because it's all the way over there in that fucking mess <clears throat> Yeah, my saw horse is a garbage can. Look at that. I don't have to think about it. Because it's already marked, right? Oh, ain't gonna work, is it? Gotta go this way. it mm. that's okay Okay, so remember that I wanted this planter to be four feet across, right? Remember we were saying A squared plus B squared equals C squared because it's a right triangle here, right? Right? So A squared, that's four feet, so that's 16 plus 16 equals 32. So, right, we need to square root of 32, which equals, uh, let me think about this, uh, 5.65. Five, uh, six, eight, five, four, two, five, approximately. Oh, right. And uh, if I wanted to take this and make it easy to measure, so that times twelve to give me the inches. So five point six five six eight five four two five times twelve. If I do that in my head real quick, is um, 67.882251 inches. Okay, so that way I'll know how long to cut uh, this board. So two pieces of this. Minus an inch and a half. distributed here on the cans. If not, eh, we'll have a little bit of fun. Where are going? Guy, 
Okay, so two things here. One, this saw is a piece of shit. Mm. Two, look at that. Math. You can hang this on the wall and be like, I did that! Math! Okay, so with the help of some extra lumber as temporary supports, you like that sound effect? I temporarily laid this out just so you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay? Mm, all right. Yeah. That's just kind of standing there outside the fence. But it belongs inside the fence. And these are actually camera trick. Look at that. They're actually the same angle. They just don't look like it. Maybe in this angle they do. Oh, cool. Oh, and in case my uh, my description of the joints overlapping each other didn't make any sense before, this is what I was talking about, okay? This one overlaps this one, and you go around. This one overlaps this one, and you go around. This one overlaps this one, and you go around. And this one overlaps this one, right? Easy enough. So, simple. We're just going to put in some nice screws, screws, screw, maybe four, five, I don't know. Probably three, though. And then you got yourself a nice temporary planner. Why do I say temporary? Because I think ultimately, and eventually, I'm going to build some, when this is back where it belongs, put some more wood here, and then fill that fucker with concrete, pull the outside form off and then we'll actually have a concrete planter and this can be left to rot in place until the end of time although it would probably rot in place well before that ever comes along all right let's do our math check here if i go from this corner here down here damn near 12 feet off by maybe a quarter of an inch Good enough. How about here? Remember we did some math to figure out how to make this four feet? Oh, not quite four feet. What happened? Probably nothing. I bet you our math was good. Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. Since this isn't really actually attached, these aren't exactly... Uh, put in the right positions while I mocked them up sitting here on the lawn. I bet you we tighten those up, fix the angles just a little bit, we'll have our four feet. Okay, even though this thing's going to be fucking temporary, um, I'm still going to stain it because I know goddamn well I'm not going to get to finishing it uh, until probably next year. So I want it to at least look okay, or at least better than the rest of the backyard because I know the backyard is not going to get finished this year either. But anyway, look. We got them all laid out here on my trash can sawhorses. Alright. And I was logical. I had a system. I have a system. Alright, so these are all laying out here. The tops. One, two, three, four. All right. Those are the outsides. And then leading edge. One, two, three three four those are the tops i don't know for all i know when i assemble this thing i may put a nice little border around the top but if i don't at least the tops will be stained and look all nice and do i know if this stain is safe to eat i don't know fuck it can't be too safe right my vegetables are not going to absorb stain i hereby declare slop that shit on me doesn't have to look beautiful. Ooh. First coat. Which implies, of course, there will be a second coat. Okay. 
sloppy second coat versus one coat. Yeah, I guess normally if you're getting sloppy seconds and you got a coat, that would be a condom. But that's not what this is right here. Okay, two coats. <laughs>